Hi everyone. I wanted to share what I'll be using for my son for the upcoming 2015-2016 homeschool year. Um, we are new at this, so I may have all the wrong things. I may have too much. I may have not enough. I really don't know. I just bought everything that I thought we might need. And as we go, um, we'll just take it day by day and play it by ear, I guess. So he is seven, almost eight, and technically he's going into second grade, but he's kind of between the second and third grade level. So these are the things I've purchased for him right now. This whole stack is all our handwriting and language arts type of stuff. I got him a pocket thesaurus, a student dictionary. Um, he's a little behind when it comes to handwriting. That's what the only thing he's behind in. His handwriting is pretty sloppy. So I got him this handwriting without tears printing power. And he's already about halfway through it maybe. And then we also have this one I found at Toys R Us. Manuscript writing. He's been doing some of this as well. And I just have this um, handwriting grade 2 workbook. It does look a bit younger for grade 2. We'll see how he progresses with the handwriting, whether or not I'll actually get into this one or not. And then just a blank um, grades 2 to 3 learn to write tablet. Here, here's already started some of his cursive. And then we'll be going into handwriting without tears, cursive handwriting. And I found this at the Dollar Tree, grades 2 to 3 cursive. And then on to spelling and vocabulary, I printed this list off of k12reader.com. It's a spelling list for grade two throughout the week. I mean, throughout the year, it's got, I printed 10 lessons, but I think there's more online. So really what I'm gonna have them do is um, one day copy, next day copy, and I highlight two of the bigger words for them to try to look up in a dictionary and try to define it. And then we'll give them a little, little quiz towards the end of the week. And then also for spelling and writing, I got these Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners, grade two spell it right and grade three so we'll have him go through grade two first obviously then we'll go into grade three depending on how fast he gets done with grade two i got a spectrum writing grade two vocabulary for the gifted student grade two <clears throat> excuse me i got him common core connections language arts grades two and three And these I someone gave me for free, so I thought I'd try them out. Scott Forsman practice book, uh, Reading Street, grade 2.1 and 2.2. So we'll see how those are. This I found at the Dollar Tree. It's just um, grades two to three sight words. He pretty much knows these words, how to spell them, what they pretty much mean, but just for a little bit of extra practice for a dollar from the Dollar Tree, why not? <clears throat> um, I picked this up off Amazon, Dictionary, Building Dictionary Skills, Grades 2 and 3, pretty much to teach them how to use a dictionary the right way. And then I also got them this Thinking Skills for Grade 2. And then some little activities here. I got a homonyms bingo. And we got these um, little grammar tales books. There's adjectives, pronouns, adverbs, verbs, quotation, proofreading, commas, capitalization, and sentence structure. Then we also have these from Lakeshore. Um, <clears throat> there are 40 cards in each. We have understanding homophones idioms and multiple meanings so that's pretty much all for language arts for the most part nothing set in stone we're just going to take a little bit of each thing and go from there and then i also have these extra books that i found at the dollar tree test prep uh, math and language arts for second grade and one for third grade and I also have this workbook that I found at uh, Costco. 
your total solutions for second grade. And it pretty much has all language arts and some math. These have uh, math and language arts as well. So that brings us to math. Our core math books are going to be <clears throat> Singapore. We have 2A, workbook, textbook, and 2B, workbook and textbook. And then the rest is all um, filler stuff. We have time, money, and fractions. Um, he's pretty good on money. He's almost there with the time. He's still struggling a little bit. And um, fractions, he doesn't know yet. So this little tab here is where I marked fractions. So we can get started on that. Uh, this I found at Barnes & Nobles. It's Cumin Math uh, Word Problems for Grade 2. And then the rest is all kind of fun stuff. I found this at Walmart Clearance for $3. Dry Erase Learning Activity, Counting Money. Uh, the Time Wipe Off Book. Just kind of go like this. And you write your answer here. Um, wipe and learn time. And some flashcards. We have some money. Telling time. Spider-Man multiplication. He hasn't learned multiplication yet. We're going to make it into multiplication and fractions soon. And these are all our games and manipulatives that we'll be using throughout the year. We have some fraction tiles. This is called Classroom Cash. It's a box of fake money. Telling Time Quizmo. Telling Time Bingo. Um, this is called Keep the Change. It's a counting money type of game. We have a fraction tower set. Ooh, one fell up. And this is a box of Matthew C. and Manipulative Math Blocks. So that's all for language arts and math. Okay, so here's what we're doing for reading. He has a little folder, has his reading log in it. And um, I have a bunch of these reading and writing prompts. This actually could be part of language arts, not reading, but anyway. Um, I tell you a little bit about um, whatever the subject is. This one's about presidents, and um, it has you some questions on the bottom and to write a one-page point of view. But I have presidents, uh, ocean life, space, um, inventions, all kinds of different ones in there. Those are all from the Dollar Tree. I got quite a few packs of Dollar Tree. I just mixed them all together. This is also from the Dollar Tree, it's a reading teaching prompt. Same idea, really, a little passage and some questions. Um, these are from a Target Dollar Spot. We have reading comprehension, grade two and a grade three. I have an Evan Moore skill sharpener reading book, um, grade two and a grade three. A comprehension skills for grade two, 40 short passages for close reading. Again, a small passage and some questions and a writing response. And a grade two daily warm ups for reading. Again, same idea passage and questions. And then these books here <clears throat> are books that I want him to read throughout the year. He'll also have um, his own choice of his own books that he wants to read as well, but these are the ones I'm. I really want him to read. We have one the uh, Jungle Book, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, Tom Sawyer, Wizard of Oz, Treasure Island, Huckleberry Finn, Call of the Wild, Moby Dick, uh, Charlie, and Chocolate, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, any books by Ronald Dahl I want him to read. Flat Stanley, I want him to read a whole, the Flat Stanley books. This Walt Disney book. I like these great biographies for kids. Any of these biography books he wants to pick up to read that'd be great i want him to read as many magic treehouse books as possible how to eat fried worms uh, i want him to read as many as the little series as possible as well as the magic school bus series i want him to read this book about thomas edison and this book about betsy ross 
so that's what we got going on for reading okay so for my daughter who is nine almost ten um, she is technically a fourth grader if she were to be in public school but um, she's more of a fifth sixth grader in most uh, subjects so this stack here is all her language arts um, writing grammar language arts English handwriting all that kind of good stuff spelling and vocabulary these you saw with my son's stuff as well just writing prompt cards has a little bit of um, information and then ask you to write uh, write something about it I found those at the Dollar Tree a bunch of different packs and I just mixed them up so um, she's doing cursive as well handwriting without tears cursive and this one I got from the Dollar Tree we have Voyages in English. I got this book off Amazon. This is the fourth grade writing and grammar. Um, I'm going to be using this with my son as well because it has stuff that he understands too, like anonyms, pronouns, adjectives, that kind of stuff in it. Um, so it's good for both of them. I got her Wordly Wise 3000, book four and book five. I'll probably go ahead and get her book six soon too. We'll just see how fast she goes through these. Um, this is from Costco Spectrum 4th grade um, it's got pretty much math grammar vocabulary and then um, I also got this one at Barnes and Nobles uh, Scholastic Summer Express between grades 5 and 6 vocabulary grammar writing reading and math this is also from Barnes and Nobles Spectrum writing grade 5 these couple of books here I got from a yard sale and they are a little easy for her. Phonics grade four, Spectrum Vocabulary grade four, um, and this is a stick ball, I believe. Vocabulary skills grade four. Like I said, they're all a little easy for her, but they'll be good for review. They'll be fine. Uh, this I got from Barnes and Nobles, Vocabulary for the Gifted Student grade five. This is uh, some spelling words that I got um, just like from my son from k12reader.com. Um, she also has these Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Spell and Write, grade four and grade five. She said she hasn't started them yet, but she looked through them. She said they look kind of easy, so I went ahead and got us something else as well. We got this at Barnes and Nobles. It's Hartcourt Family Learning Spelling Skills, grade five. This is also from Barnes and Noble, Spectrum Language Arts, grade six. This is from Amazon. We have Thinking Skills, grade four. And also from Amazon, Dictionary Skills, grade four. Okay, so this is what my daughter will be using for math. Like I said, she's fourth grade as far as public school is concerned, but um, she's mostly fifth and sixth grade level and a lot of other things, but when it comes to math, math she's still pretty good at. She's pretty on fourth grade level, but I went ahead and got her the Singapore 3A workbook textbook and 3B workbook textbook. Um, according to the little review test that she did, a 3B is more of a fourth grade level in our public school system, so that'll keep her right on track. I just went ahead and got the 3A2 as a review. She'll probably go right through that and then go to 3B and she goes right through that. Hey, we'll go on to four. I got this from Barnes and Nobles, the Cumin um, Math Workbooks Word Problems for grade four. I might get her a grade five one as well because she's already started a couple of them but she said they're pretty easy. This, um, I don't know where I got this. I want to say maybe Toys R Us. It's Math Bakes Bass math basics grades five and six this is from the Dollar Tree multiplication and division time test little worksheets and this I got for my teacher use it's the math advantage daily practice for FCAT for Florida um, we don't really care about the FCAT or anything like that but it's good um, it's good reviews and warm-ups and um, she's on fractions now, and she's learning division as well. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use these. Well, I'll show you these flashcards first. We have these multiplication, division, and these division. 
These are from Toys R Us. Um, I have no idea where these are from. I think they're from a yard sale or something. And we also, she's also going to be using the Matthew C blocks as she needs, as well as these fraction tile matching things and this fraction tower set. So that's all she's going to be using for math. Okay, so this is the reading material that I have for my daughter. These I found from the Dollar Tree Premium Education Reading Grade 4 and Grade 5. Um, Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Reading Grade 4 and Grade 5. She's really on the 6th grade level, so I'm going to see if I can find something a little bit more challenging for her in that aspect as well. Um, I got her these poetry books because she's really into poets and it's something she should be learning anyway. And she's, since she's really into them, I went ahead and picked these up. I got these used from a teacher. Um, I'm Nobody, Who Are You? Poems by Emily Dickinson. They're poems and they know it, a collection of 30 timeless poems. And these are all poetry for young people books. We have Samuel Taylor Coleridge, Edward Lear, Lewis Carroll, Rudolf Kipling, William Shakespeare, Robert Browning. And these are all some books that I want her to read. A lot of these I already showed you um, in my son's pile, but um, they are going to be easy for her to read. They're just classics that I think pretty much every kid should read most of these books. So we have Tom Sawyer, Moby Dick, Jungle Book, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, Betsy Ross, Designer of Our Flag, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. I'm going to have her read the whole uh, Chronicles of Narnia series. We have Anna Green Gables, Dr. Doolittle, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Wizard of Oz, The Wind in the Willows, The Call of the Wild, Treasure Island, and Huckleberry Finn. And I'm also going to have her read To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, and there's other books I can't think of right now as well. And she'll also have the opportunity to read whatever books she wants as long as she reads um, these as well. 